we're going to look at two ways to clean the WordPress media library, the easy way and the hard way. The easy way involves a WordPress plugin called Media Cleaner. So if I jump over to plugins, and I already have it installed. Uh, if you do not have it installed yet, you'd want to install it. So it is Media Cleaner, and this is what it looks like in the WordPress directory. So install that, activate that, and then there are instructions here on the uh, page in the WordPress directory. And uh, there's also on the plugin authors page um, some instructions on how to use the plugin. So back inside of WordPress, uh, first check the settings. So those are going to be here under Meow Apps Media Cleaner. And I recommend checking these boxes here for analyzing the different post types. So there's posts, post meta, galleries, widgets, um, and that basically checks uh, to see if the files are used within those areas um, beyond just the, uh, the page content. So those are good. Check those boxes, hit save changes. And then to run your scan, you'll go over to media and cleaner. And make sure you read all the warnings. Definitely do take a full backup before you begin. Uh, and then you can hit start scan. Uh, it takes a little bit of time depending on how many files are in your library. So I have done mine already. And it has identified some issues. So what you can do here is you can bulk select or select them one at a time. And then you can choose uh, what you would like to do with those. Uh, so you can ignore them, which just tells the plugin to do nothing and to stop bringing them up in the future. Uh, or you can delete them. Um, you can also just delete everything, uh, or you can search within here. So do not take what it tells you at face value. Um, it does a pretty good job, but uh, especially if um, the media are not attached, if they are unattached from the um, post or page that they've been uploaded to, uh, the plugin could say that they're not in use and uh, they could be wrong. So uh, before you just go uh, deleting, uh, it's a good idea to confirm that they are actually not in use. And uh, we'll go over how to do that as part of the hard way. So uh, that was the easy way using this plugin. Um, then there's the hard way for people who don't want to use the plugin, um, like to roll up their sleeves and uh, get into it manually. Uh, so the way to do that uh, is just going over to your media library. And this works best if you have your library in list view, because you can see some more details. If you have it just in the grid view, uh, then all you see are the images and then you need to hover over them or click on them to get some more details. So list view is helpful here. So what you can do here is uh, let's say that we want to find out if uh, this nerd balloon image is being used on the site. Uh, so here we can see uh, WordPress thinks it's been uploaded to uh, this content. So I could just click over here and that would be an easy way to uh, go see is it actually being used and I can see that it is. So I know it is definitely in use in at least one place on the site. Uh, that doesn't tell me if it's in use in other places, but I do at least know that it is uh, in use on the site. So uh, let's just use this as an example and say that we wanted to uh, see um, if, this is, uh, if this is being used um, anywhere else. Uh, sometimes you will see, uh, you know, I could go and delete this from the post um, and it could still be attached there. So um, it, it's good to confirm this to make sure that it is still there. Uh, so let's go take a look at uh, where this is on the site. Um, so what we can do here is uh, we can see the file name here. And uh, we want to search for just the first part. If we search for the whole thing, uh, we won't catch the different sizes because WordPress creates different sizes of the images when you upload them. And so uh, it could be inserted with, uh, with the different size appended to the file name. So I'm going to grab just this first part before the file extension. And now what you can do is walk through your site, through the posts, the pages, if you have other content like testimonials or portfolio. And basically what you'll do is just uh, use the search box in each of these. And you'll just search for um, the first part of that file name. So I can enter that and hit search posts. And I've got one result. So confirming that it is here. Uh, if you have no results, then it will look like this. We'll go over to pages 
And if I enter it here, no pages found. So we can uh, see no results there. So you want to walk through each of the different areas of your site uh, to see if that is being used. If you find that it is not being used anywhere, uh, then it should be safe to delete. Uh, but of course, you do want to, uh, even if you do the hard way, uh, make sure that you have a backup before you do this just to make sure that uh, it's all there.